in evaluation of the leaps you should notice and pay attention to the leap color bold red color usually is because of too much warmness in the liver and contrary pale or white color of the lips is usually because of coldness and weakness of the liver pay attention to the peeling of the lips usually a patient with warm distemperament saliva by leaking the lips cause peeling of the lips and pay attention to dryness of the lips sometimes a warm distemperament in an organ for example in uterus can cause dryness in the lips you should evaluate this related organ for example after that you should evaluate the wetness of uh, the mouth for evaluation of the wetness of the mouth or dryness of the mouth ask the patient to swallow his or her saliva and then look uh, beneath of the tongue ask the patient to elevate his or her tongue to evaluate the dryness and at that same time you should notice to the color of the vessels under the tongue in a normal person in a normal young person usually the color of the vessels under the tongue is dark is black and if there are any coldness this color turn to green or paleness after that evaluate the tongue you should uh, notice or pay attention uh, three factors three main factors movement of the tongue if there are symmetric movement or holding of the tongue if there are any strong movement or the movement is weak if the consistency of the tongue is good enough if the tongue have a hump or the tongue is loose after that you should notice to the coating of the tongue coating of the tongue in normal uh, condition we have a tiny white coating between villus but a thick coating or a coating above the villus usually shows um, acute conditions it could be because of Qatar, it could be because acute conditions in digestive system, especially in the stomach. After that, you should notice to the color of the tongue. Color of the tongue usually shows chronic conditions. It could be purple, it could be bald red, it could be pale or white. after that you should evaluate the neck is there any greater is there any narrowing of the neck a narrow neck with a big head is a prognostic sign for a headache for example that shows the quality of expelling of unnecessary um, matters materials or excess homor from the head a narrow head a narrow neck or a greater uh, are barrier for proper expelling of the wastes from the head after that you should notice to the chest and its movement examine the chest 
a hairy chest, a too much hairy chest shows uh, warmness in the heart. If uh, you have hairy chest in the women, it is usually warm distemperament of the heart. Or barely in some uh, ethnic groups, we have also hairy chest in the women, in warm intrinsic temperament of the heart. But usually, women has uh, no hair on uh, their chest. A big chest, it's because of uh, warm intrinsic temperament of the heart or because of a big brain. If there are a big brain, you have a white vertebra too. Movement of the chest is important. Usually you can uh, interpret f uh, chest movement like interpretation of pulse movement. They are the same. Exp uh, expansion is because of need to more cooling and uh, contraction or expression is because of uh, need to expelling the waste, to, to expelling the vapors and smokes. If we have too much vapors and too much expo uh, smokes, this contraction will be faster, will be uh, more powerful and if we have a warm distemperament and more need to cooling an area the expansion is done uh, with a faster and a stronger movement after that you should examine the abdomen for examination of the abdomen patient should lie in supine position you should notice the hair on the abdomen too usually too much hair in an area shows the warmness of the organ beneath that area and if you have hair loss abnormal or scattered hair loss in the abdomen it mm, could show some obstruction in uh, spread circulation in the abdomen. Warmness or coldness of an organ could be because of cold distemperament or warm distemperament, especially if this warmness burns your palmar side, palm, palm, and if this coldness uh, feel like freezing. Sometimes uh, patients sweat too much and you should examine after drying this sweating uh, and taking some mo uh, moments, some minutes to uh, the real temperature show itself. And of course notice that too much bareness in the abdomen area, too long bareness, can cause coldness of the skin of the abdomen and cause mistake in your evaluation. When you touch the uh, abdomen skin, you should notice the softness and coarseness. Usually the softness shows wetness and coarseness shows dryness especially if there are uh, limited softness or uh, coarseness in one area on a specific organ. Pay attention to spasm, especially asymmetric spasm around the umbilicus. Is there a normal form our umbilicus or umbilicus is falling. 
pay attention to the pulse feeling pulse or palpitation around the umbilicus area usually in teen persons you can feel uh, pulse of aorta four finger about above the umbilicus but uh, if you feel pulsation right near above the umbilicus or uh, two side of umbilicus or under umbilicus it could be because of this location or traction of umbilical area this can cause uh, difficulty and obstruction in normal circulation of the spirit and body's current in the abdomen and can cause some diseases in uh, other related organ it can cause depression it can cause headache it can cause problem in air for example it can cause tinnitus pay attention to integrity of the abdomen if there are any notch in your evaluation of the integrity uh, push uh, or move your um, hand from above the abdomen to the down and evaluate any notch that you feel under the um, your hand and uh, um, evaluate the size of organs by percussion on the liver and spleen to evaluate the largeness of uh, liver and spleen and evaluate any tenderness in the abdomen for evaluation of the vertebra the patient should lie in prone position on his or her stomach and you should uh, evaluate the vertebra uh, from the neck to the sacrum the vertebra should uh, have uh, one alignment without deviation in right or left and you should evaluate the iliac crest two iliac crests should have uh, alignment uh, with each other if there is any dislocation one of them mm, is above the other one and can cause a problem in leg or lumbar area you should uh, evaluate the two leg and their lung if there are any dislocation of the iliac crests in evaluation of the limbs uh, in the hand or the foot you should notice to dryness or softness of the skin in the hand you should notice uh, palm color a good palm color can uh, relieve you from serious uh, diagnosis and you should notice the color on the nail I uh, explain it a pink good color is normal but any other color can um, lead you to a diagnosis of uh, problem in homors in the blood movement of the joints should be evaluated if there are any problem in the joint and other complaint should be evaluated in their location uh, from color uh, or warmness or coldness if there are any inflammation and the size of complaint if there is any 